I'm Barry Boyce. I'm the editor-in-chief of Mindful. My name is Melvin McLeod. My name is Andy Carr. My name is Megumi Yoshida. Uh, my name is Lynn Gogan Hughes. My name is Beth Wallace. My name is Jessica von Hondor. I'm Tracy Pika, and I'm the editor of Mindful Magazine. I'm an associate ad director. I'm the editorial director of Mindful. I'm the finance director. I'm an assistant editor. I'm the art director. And I'm the associate publisher of Mindful. It's a good English word, mindfulness. But really, we're talking about mindfulness, awareness, kindness, and compassion. We've been toiling in the trenches for the last 40 years, and it's been kind of a marginal activity. There seems to be a new interest in mindfulness that is more mainstream, but also not tied to these historical, cultural institutions. And so many people are coming out now and saying, you know, yes, this has helped me, and it's been great in my life, and now I'm sharing it with my friends and my family. We started a department called the Mindful Society in 2008. It became our mission to try to figure out how we could contribute to the development of the mindfulness field, to its strengthening, and to its widening. There are some leaders who, I think, through their own practice and discipline, um, have incredible wisdom to share and our, our magazine is going to include those people, of course, but it's also going to include the people who uh, are doing very everyday things. In a larger view, this is a community development initiative. So you take something like a magazine, a website, a conference, it makes people meet each other, recognize each other, start to share experiences, best practices, challenges. It becomes a relationship builder. We're in a launch situation here. There's a big team of work being done around creatively coming up with a mix of offering that's really going to appeal to broad mass people. Everyone is so energetic and passionate about uh, what they do. My interest in uh, getting good information out to people that would actually help people, I think, is what's motivated me and driven me. People are applying mindfulness in hospitals, in schools, in higher education, in the military, in childbirth, in social services, in working with at-risk youth. I could go on and on, and there are many uh, heroes, large and small, um, and we want to tell their stories and we want to celebrate what they're doing. And I think this has the possibility of becoming a really important and accepted part of American life.